hello. Today we're talking about the anatomy of different accounts. And right now we're going to talk about accounts receivable. And you remember that accounts receivable is a current asset, so it's increased by debits and decreased by credits. And so accounts receivable would increase when you sell on account. And accounts receivable will decrease when customers pay their bills. So let's take a look at some facts down here. And it says that we received cash from customers of 38000 So cash came in for 38000 because the customers paid their bills. And it also says that beginning balance in cash is 14000 so we know that if accounts receivable normally ha is increased by debits, you would expect to find a beginning balance that's a debit, and that's 14000 It also says that sales on account are 45000 Now we know that when we sell on account, that's when we debit accounts receivable, because the customer says, oh, just bill me later, and we credit sales or revenue or fees earned. So my accounts receivable goes up when I sell on account. And remember that that's 45000 Sometimes we call this credit sales. So if these are our only facts that the customer is paid, and that we had sales, and we have a beginning balance, what's the missing number? You're right, it's the ending balance. So can you figure out how to get that ending balance? Well, what we do is add up the debit side, subtract the credit side of 38000 and we would find the difference is $21,000. Is that what you got? So this is the brief history of the anatomy of accounts receivable. Thank you.